Hope you're all enjoying your weekend. Unfortunately for me, the slaughterhouse, the business I was looking to purchase was sold last week. They closed the deal on Friday. I mean, the guy jerked me around for seven months. I couldn't even get all of the loan paperwork submitted. Uh, the point is, huge wrench in my plans. I feel like I'm having a midlife crisis. I'm not even 30 yet. And I wanted to get my thoughts out today because I do want the business vlog on Tuesday to be about the business. There's a lot of stuff going on uh, despite this setback. And the whole reason I'm even here, I started YouTube, uh, was to share my ideas, research, work about diet, nutrition, to improve the health of the people around me. And I mean, I had no idea what I would have discovered all the way, all the evil stuff that goes on and it makes you know, me not want to be here even more. And the end goal being to improve the lives of as many people as possible to make as many people happy as possible but knowing that <laughs> those in charge have the opposite intentions uh, I'm not having a fun time and the best way to do that to my understanding is to make as much money as possible and invest it back into businesses that do so Frankie Strange Meat providing affordable quality animal products I, I wanted to do a soup kitchen in New York for God knows how many years I just don't have the thousands of dollars to spend every week on the food to feed people. Yeah, it's hard not to dwell on because if I would have gotten that slaughterhouse, merged my current business with it, I think I'd be making over seven figures within a year or two. You know, it, it was a running, operating business with employees over 15, fully staffed, makes a good profit, reduced my cost of goods substantially. I, I spoke a little bit about why I can't do it myself the amount of hoops to jump through, finding the land, getting zoned for heavy industrial, being jerked around by contractors for hundreds of thousands of dollars, getting the USDA approval, having to hire those employees that he already had, building the customer base he already had. It is impossible. I couldn't get a $1.5 million loan for that existing business. I certainly don't think I'm gonna be able to get two, 2.5, 3 million to build one from scratch and the context of how difficult it is, the timeline is just, I'm, I'm like ready to get out. Keep in mind guys, the current profits are nowhere near that. I can't even afford to spend a few hundred dollars a week on advertising. I can't do the West Coast location because of the current meat source, the products are unreliable. And if they were reliable, if I could get every single item I wanted, every organ, every cut, marrow bones, everything consistently, then my customer base would grow as I would retain them because every time I run out of something which happens every week, a couple times a month, I lose customers. You know, my YouTube channel censored, I'm censored on all social media platforms and I, I can't blame the losers in charge that have a very expensive taste in Brazilian boys. I mean, I mean I've spent six years of my life now working towards this and I, I feel like I'm at the breaking point. Not one day has been easy or fun I have not enjoyed any second of this. You know, when I turn on this camera every single day, not once have I wanted to do it. Now, as much as I've already done a lot in the context of health and nutrition, I believe I've helped more than anyone else on YouTube. You know, and given the situation I'm personally in, I'm gonna lose my mind if I spend a few more months in this shithole city, in that slumlord warehouse. I've had a very special business idea completely outside of anything I've ever done that I think I'm just going to launch within a year or two. I thought, you know, you know, with everything going on in the world, the nonsense, that's obviously put a damper on everything. But the revenue from this idea should just put everything else like I don't care anymore. I mean, even a year or two ago, I was contemplating on just disappearing for a year or two or three Launching this business idea, obviously it would be easier if I had the social media following and retain more people for when I launched the idea, but it's so special it doesn't matter. But I guess you guys will have to wait for that one. So I'm trying to take it day by day. You know, I told myself a few days ago I'm gonna stick it out a few more months. And I do have options if I wanna stay in the meat industry. I'm gonna reach out to a guy on Monday. Maybe he'll know something else for sale, but I'm gonna be <laughs> straight with this guy like, I can go right, I can go book a flight, I can be in Mexico tomorrow getting drugged by some girls. Like, this is, I don't know why I'm bothering with this anymore. I, even if that does happen, the guy finding the slaughterhouse, although I want the other stuff to happen, 
I'll have the same problem I'm having now. I don't have the money. I couldn't get the loan approval to go through. Um, if I don't want to go the official route, I could just buy the farm I've been talking about, get a loan on a smaller scale that I can probably do. And I don't need to do the USDA slaughterhouse because I only need two, three, maybe four cattle per week right now. You know, I could get a small existing dairy farm, do the dairy and eggs I wanted to do, have the meat on the side in like a cement, I don't know, I don't need that much stuff. And thing is, for that, even just that, the amount of time frame and effort, the loan required, you know, I, I just don't want to do it. You know, I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing from a farmer's perspective. I'm not handy at all. I'm not mechanically inclined. I, look, I pick things up really easily. I'm willing to learn, but it's just something I'm not willing to do at this point. And uh, again, to emphasize, I don't have the money to do it. I would still have to find a property, apply for a loan, get contractors and builders to do certain things. I just, I just, hey, hey, you know, <laughs> you know, what would give me a big fucking smile on my face is to drop all of this bullshit because I'm tired of making other people fucking money. If all of my businesses combined do two million a year in gross revenue and I'm not making enough to fucking advertise, you can bet these stupid motherfuckers would be upset if I went out of business. I'm making UPS so much money. I'm making the post office so much money. I'm making the ice. I'm making more than a dozen companies way more money than I'm making myself. So you can bet they're just trying to squeeze every fucking ounce they can out of me, and I've had enough of it. And just just to clarify um, that other operation. Yeah, it's easier to sell USDA certified meat. You can put it on a store shelf and. It's technically illegal to sell meat that was not slaughtered in a USDA facility. But if you have a farm buyer's club where people pay a monthly membership and they technically own the cow, you can sell the meat out of your backyard. And because they're technically your friends and you're cutting up their animal for them, it's not illegal. So that bypasses the USDA stuff. But on a larger scale and a long-term profitable business, well, I mean, not that, but it just seemed like this was a good opportunity. Uh, so what I could do is I could get that farm property, get the eggs and dairy going, build something small to process a few cattle per week, you know, what I wanted in that slaughterhouse for probably 10% of the price. That's actually what the Amish farmers do. All of these, like, um, I don't like naming them to give them free advertising, but uh, there's a lot of New York area buyers clubs that do this, and I think my viewers that want to purchase from me are actually currently purchasing from those farms because they have the dairy, the eggs, and the freshly slaughtered meat. So I know you guys would trust me and be comfortable with that. Um, and if anything, people don't want government oversight when it comes to their food, uh, preferring it as natural as possible. You know, I mean, there are a lot of negatives that also come with the USDA slaughter that I didn't work out. I just wanted to get in the space. You know, you can't sell certain organs. You can't sell blood. Most places spray the carcass with lactic acid or citric acid, which you know ruins the health and flavor of the meat to some degree. So, yeah, as much as I want to do that, I, I, it's like, like how much do I have to do myself? You know, how much do I have to do myself? I, I you know, I mean, find the property, hire someone to run it. I, I the time, the effort, the money. As as much as I would love to say that's going to be my next step, I. I think it's honestly much more likely that you're going to see me uh, playing with some Mexican girls on some um, inappropriate website. But uh, yeah, I don't mean I don't mean to disappoint you guys. Um, yeah, and, and I, I understand a lot of you guys are like, uh, you know, I mean, no one wants to be here. Everyone's miserable with all this COVID fake bullshit nonsense, New World Order stuff, and and that's always like an overarching thing and on the back burner and something you don't even want to think about. But you know, it would have made sense from a business perspective to have the reliable food supply. I'm just saying at this point, everything's been so difficult. I'm not, I'm not willing to figure shit out anymore. I re I'm really not. I guess thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I, I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, so I'll wrap this up now before I try to think of anything else. Uh, so you can go to frank com to see all of those businesses and support me. Uh, we got the water kefir back in stock. Uh, the Nature's Glucose, uh, not the Nature's Glucose, the new glucose product. It's supposed to be delivered on Monday, so maybe we'll launch that this week as well. 
dehydrator should be up and running if this guy can fix it this week. So as I mentioned earlier, we got a lot of stuff with the business going on. Uh, check, check out the vlog on Tuesday. But um, that's it, guys. So thanks again, and I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe a little something different.